I'm Kavi Kinderos from Accounting Students of Jember University. And in this video, we are going to show about the error filter processing or radio frequency identification that has used in this library of Jember University. Actually, if there is the question why we should be to understanding about the RFID processing, because actually, from the RFID processing, it will be made the processing in this library more easy. Uh, as we know, RFID text is uh, the use of radio frequency to store uh, information and capture it by using the tag uh, in this tag there will be a receiver and transmitter the, that is uh, the chip and the antenna the library of Jember University has used RFID to give maximal services to the visitor of the library Before we have entered this library, we should be put our bag and else in the locker. And to get it, we can come in into services department. And the librarian will be give the key to open the locker that we had. We should be put our bag in this locker. And then after this, the first step of radio frequency identification or RFID process is to capture the data of visitors. The process is scanning visitors' ID member of Jember University. And all of data will be captured in the principal data using database. Actually, the purpose of this step is to know who are the visitors coming in this library or each time. After we have captured our identity, we can directly to entry and find the book what we want. We can search about this book more easy by online quick access catalog or OPAC. We can see all of information about the book here. Include the book position in the book rack.
end, the next step is to capture the book that we have borrowed using Missane's borrow. This Missane will be tried, capture, and keep identification of this book. And we should be scanning our ID in this Missane. The purpose is to make sure people who borrow the book. If someone tried to bring out library books without checking it out, the alarm from the smart ID gates will go off. If there is the question why the problem can happen, because actually each of the book in this library has RFID tag, and it is called an RFID tag. It is the security of this library. The next step is returning the books. This one show us about returning the books through the operator. Okay, uh, and you have finished your books, and you want to return your books. Uh, there will be two ways to do it. The first one is you bring your books to the operator in the library, and they will be scanning your books by using barcode scanner or desktop reader. Or you can return the books that you borrow through the self checkout machine or Roblox machine that shows in the video. This step show us the operator returning the books to the self. Firstly, they will scan the books that have been returned by the students. And then, they will put the books to the self by their number manually. This is the steps how to use robotic scanning machine. Before starting the scanning process, the book to be scanned must be cleaned first. After clean the book, we need to input the data of the book to the computer. After that, we need to put the book on the scanning machine and push the scanning button and then the robotic scan machine will start the scanning process. The result of the scanning process will be shown in the computer. We can continue scanning the next pages. Actually, 
Usually, if we talk about the facilities of the library, this library has robotic scan machine. The function of this machine is to is to uh, safety uh, on the process of the scanning of book like journal, scription, thesis, and etc. And the conclusion for this video is by using our FID, creativity, the library the more efficient, more effective, and then and then besides this can reduce the cost of RFID processing. Uh, and then it will uh, reduce the percentage of book ceilings uh, because the library has high security, which means which means it is more safety. We think it's enough for this video. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching us. Bye! Bye.